Hey everyone, my name is Notlat and welcome back to Control. We just helped an alien creature, um, one that's kept in containment over here, and we just gave him back his head, which is basically a space helmet. <laughs> uh, anyways, it was, it was actually kind of a little cute little side mission, and I actually like it. And we got a nice little thing for the, uh, uh, the charge, which makes the, it makes their bullets get to its destination so much faster. I wish it would go for other projectiles, not just the charge, but this one's exclusive to charge, so I'll, I'll take what I can get, basically. Oh, actually, uh, where am I headed? By the way, finish Tango. Oh, that was our main mission. No, I need to, uh, I need to finish. Wait, what? Am I not done with Hartman? Am I done with Hartman? No. What? Where's Hartman's thing? I'm sorry, what? Did we finish Hartman? Uh, Jesse speaks to the Bureau prisoner and agrees to help it find something. That was the one we just did. Show him, that is... Yep, I did that. A dark place. Jesse receives a strange vision. Meditation investigation sector. She decides to Hartman. And she'll need to ensure it doesn't escape the sector. Wait, am I He pried through something though. Where did he go through? Where did that animation lead him? I can't be done. No way I can't be done. Okay. I've technically been all around here, I guess, so... Let me, uh... Let me go up the elevator, I guess. Oh, I can still hover in this one. That's cool. Okay, yeah, there is this door I can take. That's right, yeah, we're going this way. Forgot, sorry. Okay. But it doesn't look like it's really gonna lead me anywhere new. Oh, right, that stuff. Hang on, I need a light. Anybody got lights? No lights. No lit. No? Nothing? Where am I gonna get a light? There are no lights around here, is there? No, there wasn't, was there? Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, maybe I have to work my way back. No, that's not a light that I can use. I'll probably be back for you guys. If there's anything here. Hmm. Wait, that's a light. <gasps> Why looking so down, my friend? This has to be for Adi, yeah. Yep. Well, once we get this one, we'll be we'll be completed with this. There should be one more though, however, right? Yeah. Oh, it was above me. Ah, I found you. <laughs> Done. That should make him happy. You're welcome. <laughs> Shaded facets. So that's all that gets me though. Oh. That almost doesn't feel worth it. Oh. No, you give me good stuff for the things I do for you. Oh, I'm back here. Oh. Okay, and then I just go, I guess. Or no, I don't I don't actually want to go that way. Uh hang on. Whoops. Sorry. Okay, there's a fast pet. Wait, what? What is happening? Okay. I'm sorry, I don't want to fast travel yet. I just want to go back. Anything new to tell me, Langston? Anything? Gonna tell me something cool? No? Tell me how cute I am? No? <laughs> nothing? You got nothing for me? Oh my gosh. Why do I even talk to you? 
Langston, why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm back here now. Hector, ma'am, great timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the Oh, we're not done. Okay. WWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, <laughs> wow. Like, wow. Man, Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest men. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. You know, back <laughs> when it was all practical effects? I know what you mean. Nasty. Real Did you say something? Nasty. Remember, I can't hear you. <laughs> Never mind, just go after Hartman. Oh, so disgusting. <laughs> I love his character so much. Oh, he's, he's the most funnest person I've come across in this game. To hide the past and make me lose my way. Oh, there you are. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Okay. That's another thing I have to listen to, though, unfortunately. Ugh. I don't like having to listen to those. I really don't. Um, yep, yeah, hotline. Yeah, like, none of the hotline stuff, I, I don't care for almost any of it. It's added some information, but I don't, I don't care about it. I've written and rewritten, deconstructed, reconstructed, experimented with different voices, changed the style, changed myself, forgotten okay. the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. Okay. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style then. Lose the fat. Make it clear. Ugly. Functional. Present. Be blunt. Only the brutal truth. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, rewrite it. Be clever, make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it, you just imply. Incept. They're drawn to the mystery, obsessed. You set it up, they put it together. Their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it. Because it's theirs now. Hmm. So basically, he's just talking about how people perceive a story and how viewing a story becomes you you create it, but they consume it, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It's just why is any of that in this? I, just, I don't get it. But it looks like our his friend or our shade fella, he's mutated. And I think he's going to be even uglier than he was before. <laughs> so, let's have a look. At least that's what Langston tells me. Okay, I'll be happy to be finished with this boss. I mean, if it's going to finally be something new, yay. But, oh my gosh, it's taken like, what, three episodes to get through this particular boss? Stuck. Let's go take care of it. Well, I can, I can fix that. Burn, my friends. Wait, before I completely do that, is there anything to see in here? I don't know if this is a place I come back to or anything. Whoa, what the? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. That's not cool. Don't be like that. Nice. Oh, shoot. I blocked at the wrong time. Oh, you never done three before? What the heck, man? You go, I can't even see you. I can run the circuit too. You're not special. Had a 
feeling you'd be coming around. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Let me swap to the other one. He just died. That wasn't all my doing. Okay. Jeez, man, not cool. Did I lose my light? Kinda need that, didn't I? No, here it is. Jeez, that was quite a surprise attack right there. Was not expecting that, to be honest with you. still going down okay good whoo that was uh geez <laughs> man he did more attacks than usual which kind of threw me off a little Thank bit you for meeting with us again dr Hoffman. it's my pleasure gentlemen i hope the information provided thus far it's been invaluable doctor really we have a much clearer picture of this event thanks to your accounts well i to consider myself a keen observer of We did have one question. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Mm. Sharing notes. I don't think they're going to like that. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this. I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, oh including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. <laughs> Offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. Dang. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Oh, okay. Well, that gives a little more context to the background of him, because I guess I didn't really know who Hartman was to begin with. Um, when I hear the name Hartman, I always think back to Death Stranding, because there was a Hartman in that, and I think that's where my brain defaults to. But I originally don't even know who this character is. Um... It's interesting. Wow. All right. It's been a while. I've forgotten again. Back again. I had a plan. It's gonna be another fever, fever dream. <laughs> I know it. I forgot. I love these transition effects, they're pretty cool though. Yeah, that map, when I was editing before, I paused it on that map, but it doesn't mean anything to me, unfortunately. I think it's just a kind of a random thing. He's coming. I've got to get out of here. Hmm. Who's coming? Dive deep. I still don't know who Alan Wake is or what's the story. Lovely, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't get any of this. Um, it still makes absolutely no sense to me. I didn't know this was connected at all to the Alan Wake games. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Clearly. Am I seeing something out there? No, that's a reflection. Okay, was that there before? Ding ding. What's in here for me today? 
Oh. Um. So I'm purging it from here too. Interesting. Okay, I have to hit the bell again. Okay. Let's go. What a weird system, you know? Very strange. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you while you were sleeping. <laughs> but I'm afraid you didn't pay for your room. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Last one. You're gonna be on the ceiling, probably. I'm up. Uh, have some bureau power. Um, hang on. <laughs> A little further. Get off the wall. Nice. Cool. All right. Okay. Wait, what happens if I turn it even more? I just want to know. Anything? No? Nothing? that it? Oh, okay. Well, guess that's that. Oh, is that a key for me? <gasps> you shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. Going in mad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part of the story about the government agency, Wake needed a special something to convey an alien Oh, the alien. I am so confused with this. I I don't I don't understand this one bit, man. Um Oh, is this back where I was? Yeah, here. Oh. Like the one they made for ordinary. Cool. Okay, hang on though. I wonder what happened here. I wonder. What I wonder. Okay, there's a barrier that prevents me from taking something out, but this light was already in here, so... Cool. At least I can see. So this is, yeah, this is where I was. So we're back here again. Oh no, but this is different. Okay. Intriguing. I can call for help. Director Faden here. Dispatch a ranger to this location. Let's do this! <laughs> a hoorah to you too. Hang on. There be things to see here. Oh, did it take it? Oh, I took it away. No. It's because I brought that light with me that it was in there, right? Okay. Is this it? Yeah. Alice Wake. After reaching out to the bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on blank 2017. See file blank for the full transcript. Uh, summary. The interview conducted by agents Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Miss Wake has had reoccurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment address blank. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Miss Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but an effing monster in his body. Miss Wake has not been sleeping out of the fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the light on through the night results in the relevant hallway light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the blank. Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply requests from L-501-4 have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. Fascinating. Yep, we're good. Brian, Henry interrogation, Dr. Hartman interrogation, yep, okay, and then more from the hotline, uh, I don't really want to watch this, but uh, fine. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. 
Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her. Went berserk. Broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make Is he trouble. trapped? Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something okay. that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. Wake created a Dada's poem. He'd try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Is it that this Wake character is trapped in a story and he needs me, the supposed protagonist, to go and free him? If that makes any sense. Let me get my energy back up. You don't want to stay in there too long. It's freaky in there. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You ever get freaky? <laughs> um, okay. I guess that's that, huh? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in the light. You can't touch me and I'm in the light. That's the story. You look normal still. Okay, he was just being... He's just being dramatic. Hang on. Let me just listen to that through this because I can I can barely hear it too well. Um These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had oh, hoped fuck. Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have been an art such that the world has never seen. But Wake okay. was stubborn, egotistical writers usually are disappointing nonetheless but now like tom before him wake has disappeared into cauldron lake and this is where my work yeah tom was the other one hypothetical since he was lost to the lake thomas zane has been observed by various townspeople this indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. Mm -hmm. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be okay. able to cross into that dark realm with the chance oh. to return as they have. Oh boy. All that remains is the dive itself. Oops, sorry. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. The truth seeker. I take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It is time for a breakthrough. 
until I return. Hmm, <laughs> wasn't quite the breakthrough you were hoping, apparently. Um. Okay, that battery's locked in place. There's a battery over there. What is it that I'm doing exactly? I need to get something over there. Okay. Can I make that? I should be able to. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, that's something. Oh, I am not in the light. Okay, buddy. Things be getting sketch over here. Don't worry, dude. I, I got a plan. Things are in motion. All right, keep up. 17, there we go. Cool. What's this do? Oh, hang on. I don't want to be in the dark when I open that. Unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. Uh, the citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deerfest. <laughs> Eyewitness all claim that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports. But then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm and a tornado rose from the Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood it was as if the day had turned to night testimony from blank frank breaker the sheriff of bright falls formal formerly a bureau agent see employee file blank managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood the festival was canceled ending one day early a uh, lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE. Though the similarity to other known events in the Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the townspeople. That's cool. So that's what sucked them in. Huh. So the lake itself was the AWE? That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, another battery. Let's go. Where are you going? to that one or is there another one I need to get close by I well you know there's more than one so though oh, I'm in the darkness oh hey wait hang on how dare you my sir my good sir man sir sis serpentine serpent scene I don't know what I'm saying but I got it Woo! back back okay Okay. Things get sketchy as all heck. All right, big guy, it's me. You are pretty rough on the eyes, Doctor. Oh, whoa! You snipes me, son. <laughs> Wait, do I have to do all that again now? Go. Okay, it did. Send back up to my location. Okay, we still got him. Boom. Hey there. I don't know what you're doing. You're teleporting? Okay. Is this actually doing anything to you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're making progress, okay. Okay. Oh, he is shooting, okay. This weapon has become one of my favorite weapons. Whoa, Ranger, Ranger friend, careful. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Oh, shucks. Can I grab that? Oh, holy cats. Okay, that's what the red me. Okay, I just didn't know. <gasps> ah, wait, wait, hey, none of that. How about you don't do that, and how about I grab some of the, Can I just get down? Thank you. I need help. Oh, 
Well, that should have hurt you a little bit. Whoop. Okay. Now I know what the signs are. That's good. Oh, shoot. Why did I do that while I was next to it? No. Oh. Uh, I keep forgetting I can hurt myself with my own explosions. Yeah, you try, but you won't get me. Ow, come on, really? Was that your doing? I think that was your doing, wasn't it? I think I dodged whatever you were trying to do to me. Oh my gosh! Whee! How I survived that, but somehow I did. Whee! Nice. Whoa! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Okay. Can you? Can you not? Ah, shucks. I couldn't see what was happening there. That was that was all kind of weird at the last moment. Okay, this is a much better strategy apparently. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Wait! Oh my gosh! Did he heal himself? Oh my gosh! He heals himself when he grabs you, doesn't he? So don't let him grab you. Don't let him grab. No on Mr. Grabby Hands. Oh. I wasn't sure if that was directed towards me, but apparently it was. Oh, whoa, careful with that. That is a bad thing to do. Swap into the other one. Oh, he's, he's doing that thing again. Nope, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, shucks, there's nothing I can do about that one. He's in that mode, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where am I going? Where am I going? I can barely see, I can't see anything. Oh, okay, I'm here now, good. Okay, I did get this segment before, I don't know if I showed you guys with all the cutting out I do, but um, the batteries fall out, I just need to figure out what batteries and where. That's for you, because you need to, you need to be taken care of. Well, buddy, I appreciate him helping, so I do not want him to go down. Okay, so that battery and that battery. Okay, let's go. Oh shoot, I can't. Oh no, that's did that didn't work. Wait, hang on. I can't. Okay. I need my energy because I need to throw it into the in the spot it needs to go. Not sure what you're shooting at there, pal, but get to it soon. Hang on. Okay. There we go. Alright, can get the light. Let's go. Okay. Okay, good. <gasps> Whoop, shoot, I wasn't as close as I thought I was. Power's back on, let's go. Just a little more. 
Whoa, hey, 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 none of that. Oh, we have to uh, take his shield down. Ah, good to know. Doing great, buddy. We got him. Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. Woohoo! But investigations need someone to run it. Mm hmm. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Cauldron Lake. <gasps> Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. She's still alive? I, I thought for some reason she wasn't. Ooh, this looks very cinematic. We, we saved them, right? If the alarm's true, then so is the reason for the alarm. The effect must follow the cause. It's happening again. Return. You have been warned. S still not making much sense here, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, what the- oh my gosh. You guys got a friend. Had to do it right there, right then. Come on, man. I guess we're finished with that one. I guess there's nothing more to it, huh? Huh. I guess we did it. Okay, cool. All right, so what I'm planning to do is... um, I want to do this one, Old Growth. I don't think we finished this one. Um... Okay, so yeah, I don't think we finished this one technically. Let me just go back, because I think we just go back to her and we should be done, right? With that particular mission. I know that's not in our area, but I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, Actually, before I do that, let me go here. So I don't know what became of Alan Wake or that character. I, I don't know. I'm assuming that he returned after we finished doing what we did and everything, but I actually have no idea. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we did. We took down the boss guy, but what does that mean? Did we, it, what is, I, I don't get anything with the weight character. All of it is just confusing. I do not get what you're talking about, you know? So with the siren, nothing? Nothing new? that it okay maybe there isn't anything more to this i thought maybe there was but it seems like maybe there is not let me just go a direction and then get to the checkpoint this one's as good as any okay let's fast travel where do we need to go for this one also this episode might be a little shorter than what we're used to would that be the right one? 
Shouldn't it be marked in yellow too? I can't really see. Let's try that. We're going to go over there and we're just going to see if we can't finish this one. And then I'm probably going to have to end the episode. We're this one's a little shorter than normal, but um, still, um, I think we we ended up achieving what we wanted to, and uh, I just I have to get going pretty soon, so I don't have much time, unfortunately. So we will get this one moving fast, hopefully. I hope. <laughs> okay, let's go. Leech did the trick. Has Underhill tried bleach? You've returned, I see. Here we go. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. <laughs> now tell me everything. Did you find the okay. source? I did. You did, didn't you? We were supposed to I talk to her after that. Plant, oh my gosh. Like gigantic. I killed it. You killed it. You found the source and you killed it. Oh boy. I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Really, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Just, okay, thanks. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Even superficial. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You bought me time for further study. Okay. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out oh, without not done yet. noticing. Ugh, come on. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. Okay. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it did give me points, though. Okay, cool. But now it's another Thanks for the information. another mission. Oh my, my gosh, really? After I complete one, it's just another, and oh my gosh, you can't handle it. But, um, we might do that one when I come back in. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to a a point, and I am going to try and I'm gonna try to get my health. Up. I think health is the one I'm gonna go for. Glad I fixed the elevator too. That was good. What is the closest control point? Just the one that's up here? <sighs> Someone had to deal with you guys. Oh, I didn't want to, but I think I might have to. Yep, of course. I don't know why this area is kind of like sanctioned off anyway, so. I am already almost dead, and why? Because I am an idiot. <laughs> ah! Well, that was very close. Ah, shoot, I equipped the wrong one. God, I thought I had the shotgun. Uh, the weapon keeps killing me. Ah. Well, you know, it's going to bring us back to a save point, so I guess in the end it's okay. I don't know. All right, we got seven ability points. Let's go. Okay, but unfortunately they have to go towards health. I'm afraid Good And that's only two Well, you know what full health I guess why not And then we could up my throw I guess Hmm Let me do my throw Oh no, it's three. I'm sorry. <laughs> or no, that's melee. My bad. Not not that one. Um, but, uh, da, 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 this one. I'm alright with that, I think. How's my health bar? <gasps> Look at that size of the health bar. Let's go. It's 
not really going to make much of a difference. People do so much damage on me. Okay. Before we finish, I'm going to take out these people who have just been making my day the absolute worst. Okay, he's down. Ooh, nice. That took him out completely. Throwing larger stuff is so good. Oh my gosh, yes. Is that it? Oh, thank you. Now, why were you blocking everything? I would like to know. We got another throwing efficiency. But they were blocking this door, but why? This is the ashtray maze. Right? Oh, actually, I need to be here for secrets, too. Are there any? Maybe not. Okay. I don't have what I need for this mission, though, right? Yeah, I shouldn't be. Contact the janitor if you need to get through. Oh. How many dead ends can this place have? Oh. We need to find Artie. Wait, what? How have I not? Okay. Anyways, we're gonna have to leave this for the next one. That I'm afraid is all I have time for. Um. I. I thought I I've been here before, but I guess there wasn't a. Uh, save point before? Uh, okay. Anyways, we'll figure out what's going on here in the next episode, but that's going to do it for me here. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Notlad, signing off. Later, guys. <laughs>